one more. And then a day off, and then the quarterfinals. But we're not getting ahead of ourselves. Team Korea and Team China will collide in a matter of moments here in the Tokyo Dome. Kung Jo Lee knows that his team has no chance of advancing. And with that in mind, he has thrown at us a brand new starting lineup, different than what we've seen the first three games, Jose Moda. But you see, no Tommy Hadman, probably the thing that stands out the most. You have Jung Hoo Lee, the star center fielder, still batting third. Ha Sung Kim now cleaning up, up playing third base. Playing third base, coming off his best game so far in this tournament. Driving the ball to the left side, on the pole side, opposite field. But sometimes when things are not working, mix it up, see what happens. And at the same time, they know their hands are full right off the get-go with this young man. Alan John Carter, the 25-year-old who just signed to the Angels organization, really a self-made right-hander with a ton of stuff not lacking confidence mm -hmm. that's for sure but he used the pandemic time to gain a few pounds and get that fastball to explode and talking about exploding on his report today he sneaked to stay on line he was awesome for three innings when he pitched the first time and last time but he was a little bit out of direction sometimes and i know he will love to hear this one go out there and challenge them a very veteran ball club <laughs> yeah, you don't need to tell Alan that Dean trainer Tarek Brock manager and third base coach for the Chinese national team <laughs> a ton of confidence in the right hander with a ton of confidence in himself born in Singapore his mother Maggie was born in China captain of her basketball team first pitch from her son Misses for ball one. Heyman Park. The LG Twins in the KBO. 33 year old left hander. Going for his speed. And once he gets on base, <laughs> he'll steal some bags on you. Just as uh, Dean Trader was pointing to a third baseman, hey, don't get caught by surprise. He will bunt the baseball. They need a good start off the get go offensively as they did last time for Team Korea. Ninety three down and in from Carter. His parents and his family moved to the United States. Chico California first and then to Duluth Georgia. There's strike one at 94. We'll go back to his collegiate career. A couple years at Columbus State. He knew he wanted to transfer, but he only heard back on three of the 25 letters that he sent to other schools. One of those is Lee University, a D2 school. And he walks Park to begin the game. Defense behind Carter. Pretty similar for Dean Trainer. Chao Jie at first base. Luo Jin Jun at second. Yang Jin at short. Chen Chen at third. In the outfield, Ko Young Kang. Yosuke. Yosuke Masago, excuse me. And then Yang Pei with Luan Chen Chen catching Carter. Ray Chang, the designated hitter. A Sung Kim grounds the first pitch foul. So to finish up Carter's story, Jose, there at Lee, 2020-2022, at a 14.9 K per nine ratio. But really his story happens in the pandemic. He went home and he dedicated himself. And in March 2020, he was 22 years old at the time, no attention from the next level. Sitting 88, 91, maybe he would throw 93 every now and again. So he decided to work out six days a week. He was eating food constantly, more than he ever had in his life. And then he made one mechanical adjustment, and that unlocked him. And he was getting up to the upper 90s. Park, again, we talked about his ability to steal bases. Take the right pitch, because Alan Carter, besides that powerful fastball, does have a splitter. 
nice walking lead gets set not the best of leads but with the front shoulder popping up is something he has to watch for against a veteran team the front shoulder pops up and it might be an indication does it pop up when he's going home and it doesn't when he's coming to first base and so forth Steven All right done watching that Park still on second base. One one. Just off the plate, 94. Stu Sherwater calling balls and strikes. The chief tonight is Adam Hammer at first base. Sean Jung Chan at second, and Futi Suarez at third. It's the on field crew, Laz Diaz, is headed up the replay center just outside the Tokyo Dome. Two and two in the most painful of ways. Hmm. Second hack, though, he really swings about hard. It always gets you where there's no protection. Just, just the nature of things. Carter, a partial tear of his UCL, pitching in summer ball in 2021. Tommy John surgery. Strike three swinging of Kim. Like the fact that he went out there and continued to pound down. The same arm action. That's a nasty splitter. Those big swings, no chance. In that count. Big ovation for 24 year old KBO MVP Jung Woo Lee. Major League Baseball fans in the States are becoming more and more familiar with his name. That name has been familiar since the day he was born in <laughs> Korea, the son of the great Jung Boon Lee, part of the 2006 All Tournament team in the World Baseball Classic. A broadcaster here on site for one of the few Korean stations. John Carter checks on par. Comes home and misses one and one. If you look at the defense, and we've seen this throughout the tournament, many teams split the middle. And this is a guy that there's actually no way to defend him. You can go out there and think, let me crap crowd the middle a little bit more. Let me play him to pull. But he's easily adjusted from line to line against every type of pitching. And that's what has made him a superb player in the start that he is in the KBO. That's flaring foul. How good is he? Steven very <laughs> I mean look among players with at least 3,000 plate appearances in KBO he's got a 342 average it's the highest career mark for anybody ever rookie of the year MVP a couple batting titles in a row led the league in ribbies well, I mean what more do you want to know about him Jose just in case you have something up your sleeve you know it skips away from Luan Chen Chen and Park now up at third base 90 feet away from the first run of the game. Only hitting 245 as a team in any opportunity like this is nothing but beneficial for them to score early and keep gaining. That's just the pitch It's tough to handle it goes as a pass ball but <laughs> Carter's not easy to catch. Can you tell. Yes. Lee with a ground ball up the middle. And Korea strikes first. All oh, that patience paying off. Ability to fight pitches. He gets jammed and stays right with the same approach. He's not worried about velocity or the ball getting by him. It's allowing the ball to get there. 
Open middle. Some lot of base hits. Just that way. So the walk comes back to bite. John Carter. Right-hander signed by a big league club in the United States. Now he's facing some big league competition. And believe me, he's being graded and evaluated every pitch in every situation and how he handles it. Asung Kim coming off a two-home run performance in the last game for Korea. Only win of the tournament against Czech Republic. He nods at strike one. Even though he is sitting at 93.6 miles an hour, 17 pitches are mostly out of the zone mm. due to the fact that, as I put down on my scouting report, his direction just needs to get a little bit more steady, better flow. And here's something I'll be looking at, Stephen. He lifts his hands and he lifts his front shoulder. From the windup, what does he do here from the stretch? Runner going. And Second stolen base of the top of the first inning. There are reports, but look at the motion here. Hands up. Takes a little bit more time. It doesn't matter how hard you throw. And they had a scouting on him that you have to run on him. You can read anything going up. So a good throw would have been close, but you go out on the scouting report and it's paid off. Korea did not have a single stolen base the first three games of this World Baseball Classic. They got two. And then what happened, Steve? <laughs> two in this first thing, and they what know. what could that be based off of? Info. Two balls, one strike to the San Diego Padre. And King popped up right field along the line. Young Pei. Two down. And I still think John Carter had the future in the major leagues. Young kid, I mean, driven to the T. <laughs> and, you know, like self made in a way. That's what we were saying. It could I have mean, gone one way just during done, the pandemic. Just could have done nothing. Instead, he was working out, eating, watching YouTube videos to try and find a way to better himself as a pitcher. Changed his throwing motion. He was a little stabby and long. Big hole came. DH takes strike one. You mentioned stabby. Stabby meant when his hands separated. And he did a quick drop behind his back hip. Not a smooth drop. Now, what he did is shorten his motion. You mentioned Lucas Giolito type of adjustment to make it just a little more compact. Pitch off the leg of Ron Chen Chen and Jung Ho Lee now at third base. These are fastballs now, and usually overthrowing will cause this. Catchers usually call fastballs, not expecting them to go in that direction. As compared when they were expecting their breaking ball off speed to go their knees. 
Two zone bases, a pass ball, a wild pitch, been a really sloppy inning for Team China. A team that knows they're new in every game in this tournament. They, this couldn't happen. They didn't have to play perfect, but they had to play clean baseball. So they're not going to out slug the other teams in this pool. This wasn't going to happen. Spoiled by Kai. We're talking about this kid right here, BP. I like his actions. So we watch Dean Trainer, the teacher, mm. outstanding baseball man, law great, enforcement. Great energy. Don't even want. I don't even <laughs> care what his age says he is. I mean, he still he still got that fire burning. And the players respond to him yep. in another language. Hey, cool Kang. Foul ball, this one on the ground on the right side. Count remains two and two. Left-handed slugger, KT Wiz. I think, I think Ray Chang is not just soaking all this up right now. This could be the last World Baseball Classic game that he plays in. Another pitch. Ball three. John Carter to pay things off. Slap foul. Carter threw 46 pitches against the Czech Republic on Friday. Three innings of shutout baseball. No earned runs allowed. He was set to be the hero. Yeah, he had was. They, had they won that game. They scored four times in the seventh, take a 5-4 lead. Could not hang on in the top of the ninth. Another 3 2, a rocket into center field. Jung Hu Lee scores 2 0 Korea. Man, I love Kong Swing. Oh, my goodness. Just does not change. We've seen him phase soft throwing lefties, we've seen him phase hard throwing right handers, and it's just all the same consistently. High off speed. No need to pull that. You think maybe he's been forgiven a little bit, Stephen? It's tough to say. He's been such a lightning rod the, the last couple years on these big international stages for fans and media in Korea. We say hello to Kunwoo Park. It bounces off the glove of Luan Chen Chen. And the miscues continue for China as Kang rolls into second base. Besides the fact that there's been some miscommunication. I do wonder why there hasn't been a visit to the mound. Letting him learn through the fire, I guess. So Kang on second now, five for ten in the tournament, three doubles. So. Kunwoo Park can keep the train moving. Pitch number 31 of the first inning for Jean Carter. And it's got high in the air to center field. Masago goes back as a read on it. And there's the third out. So at last, the top of the first ends for Team China. Korea puts two on the board. It was not the top of the first inning that Alan John Carter, Team China, envisioned falling behind Team Korea 2 0. But manager Team Dean Trainer, ever the teacher. These are teachable moments. And I know that at some point in between innings, somebody was going to have to step in between catcher, pitcher, and just refocus because there's a lot of game left. And obviously, they're off to a tough start playing together as a battery mates. First pitch from Tay and one misses for a ball. Trainer concludes his pep talk. One Chen Chen 
And to pick up his starting pitcher. Young Pei at the top of the order takes a 1 0 pitch to center field, a leadoff base hit for Team China. The lineup for Team China, familiar one with Pei Jin. And Masago at the top. Ray Chang, the designated hitter and hitting coach in the five spot. Chao Jie at first base. That's the guy who's been turning heads in that dugout. They really liked his performance in this tournament. Still looking forward to the best Masago game offensively. There's more in that tank. Twenty two year old Tian one. The Samsung Lions in KBO. World Baseball Classic debut last year 165 and a third innings for the Lions punched out 130 in 27 starts. Ground ball through the right side. Young Jin. With the second consecutive hit and they're at the corners for China nobody out. Just through two batters is the best start they've had in the game. That's it. Be aggressive. You will see that fastball, but you want to stay away from that change which is his best pitch. All right, Jose Mota. You mentioned his name. You're still waiting. His time is now. Yusuke Masago. Kyoto City, Japan. His mother being born in China. He was eligible to play for the Chinese national team. Got a surprise invitation and jumped at it. He wanted to take on a big challenge. No change in what he does. Play baseball. He wasn't worried. And <laughs> we talked to him a couple times. Yeah, you sense, get that sense that there's not a lot that worries or bothers him. Back in the 2016 U13 Baseball World Cup, he was the MVP of that tournament for Team Japan. And four home runs and 14 ribbies. He was released by Fukuoka at the end of the season in 2022. He'll be playing in the Industrial League for Hitachi here in Japan in 2023. Tan ones, 0-1. Good block. I know it sounds kind of lightly, right? Oh, yeah, he'll be playing in the Industrial League. But don't take it lightly. Some of the teams mm -hmm. in the Industrial League beat some of these teams participating in this World Baseball Classic before this tournament. And you know more than I do, but they are very competitive. <laughs> very. Up to three years ago. Where the closer for Team Japan was playing in one of those leagues. Competition, development, it's all there. It's all here for Masago. With two on, nobody out. Worked into a 2 1 count. Strike two. Okay, that was a message. Don't give up. Inner half, anything that's coming slowly. When you have long arms, be ready to tuck those elbows in to get better chance for a barrel. And one's best pitch is his changeup. 12 miles per hour slower than his fastball on average. Hey, keep the game moving right now. I'll tell you what. If they're going to be running, 
Dean Trainer, have your youngsters show the same energy. Go. On the 3 2 pitch, Masago swings and misses. Day and one. Dropped one off the table for strike three. Talk about separation and out of whack. Defensively, Choi Lee, Park in the outfield. Kim O, oh. Kim, Park, and Lee behind the plate. So for Team Korea on the defensive side, as clean as they come. And no Tommy Edmond in this fourth and final game for Team Korea in the World Baseball Classic. At least not to start. Strike one to Chen Chen. Tried to hold up uh, there's Dean Trainer's grandsons, Colby Cannon, and they're repping for their grandfather, soaking it up all the way from San Luis Obispo. Mm, big swing, big miss. Chen Chen behind one and two. This is the third appearance in the World Baseball Classic for Tay in one. Through 26 pitches in an inning and a third of work against Australia. 29 and two frames against Japan. Gave up one run then. And Jiung Lee reset and ready for the one two. Uh, trying to punch back in the bottom of the first inning. Good work. Uh, Korean backstop. Keep it in front of him. It's a pretty good reaction. He sets up his feet very well. Which allows him to have a flexibility not only with his lower body, but with his upper body to have better reach. He easily could have gotten away from him, especially when it's coming right at somebody's leg. Strike three, swinging back-to-back -back punch outs for Tay in one. He had an all time, but all the just the change in differential in velocity and a little bit of a vertical drop got him. Very good swing. Not to the show. What do we say in the open? Comes to China in the World Baseball Classic. The team goes as Ray Chang goes. The hitting coach and designated hitter. That's the last chance for the team here in the first inning to cash in on the back to back base hits that open the frame. Chang two for eight in the tournament with a double scored twice a couple walks a few punch outs hasn't driven in a run yet. Well even a run here early would mean a lot yes. to this young ball club. In 2009 when China Beat Chinese Taipei, first World Baseball Classic win. Chang, three for four with a home run. Then in 2013, the next win against Brazil. Get a go ahead two run single. He's got a 3 0 count. Mm. 
Who gives you a better shot of scoring and swinging the bat? He at 3 0 or the next batter? Cao Jie, who has made some adjustments that really have the coaching staff excited. He's on deck. Chang walks on four pitches. The bases are loaded. Impressive at bats again for the veteran. 39 years old. Career 324 average in the previous three tournaments. <laughs> with a slug in near 500. on the mound but also a meeting near the home plate area between the third base coach Tarek Brock an interpreter and a hitter Strike one to the first baseman. And Tarek Brock was saying that early in the tournament, particularly in the opener against Japan, like waiting for the splitter. I'm trying to tell him, don't get off the fastball. You're not going to hit. You could be looking for a splitter and you might not find it. So getting them to hunt fastballs. It's inexperience, Stephen, pretty much, because why would you be caught looking for a pitch that usually is thrown to put you away? when you are not ready to be put away. There are times and situations when when you have enough information in somebody's pattern, then you look for it. But not all the time. 1-1 one, one pitch to left center field. Tao Jay with another big swing. This ties the game in the first inning. It's 2-2. Two, two. How about it? Follow the leader again after the solid at bat by Chang with a walk. Stay on the fastball. Tarek Brock well said. I mentioned the meeting on the mound and the meeting near the home plate area with Tarek Brock and the interpreter and his young hitter. Just a reminder, man, that was some quick hands right there. Let's not get away from the pressure that there is on Korea for this ball game for many reasons strike one to the left fielder Ko Young Kang no Jose you can't say it enough we already know that they're not advancing to the quarterfinals that's a third straight first round exit for Korea a country to whom baseball has meant a lot over the years ball one down but because of the recent international disappointments 2013 and 2017 in this tournament losing in the semifinals to Japan in the Olympic Games uh, the pandemic impacting KBO ratings and attendance some off the field stuff going on in KBO fan interest has been teetering two and one and so that is why Kong Chu Lee addressed this World Baseball Classic as do or die for the health of Korean baseball. Now, from an outsider's perspective, that may sound heavy and dramatic, but when it's coming from one of the best pitchers ever produced by Korea, big swinging strike two, and now a Korean series winning manager, a national team manager in Kong Chu Lee, they get should carry more weight to the casual ear. 
and just the wor the phrase relegated to mm. going to have to go through a qualifier just does not sit well. Something you couldn't comprehend going into this thing. Strike three swinging for Tay in one. He had three strikeouts in the first, but China scored two runs and we're tied at two after one. A lengthy first inning on both sides. Alan Jean Carter, the starter for China, was picked up by his lineup, scored twice in the bottom of the first inning. So it's back to a new ball game, 2 2. What, what else would you want? But to have a rough inning? No. But if you have a rough inning, that your offense immediately gives you another chance. And for this talented right hander, the time is now. A boost to him. He had to throw 31 pitches in the top of the first inning, the first pitch of the second. Guess what? A little hook for a strike. Somebody said, hey, where's the other stuff? It's not just fastball split. You know what? He needs to get away from thinking about striking people out because mm. this stuff is there. It's there. Let it happen. Don't force it to happen. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Korea. Ji Hwan Oh. One ball, one strike. So, with all the work that John Carter has been doing over the last few years, he had a little pro day at Shred Athletics where he works out back in January. There he was averaging 95.7 miles per hour on his fastball at 18.7 inches of vertical drop. Right through that glove is all he needs to do. He's way too talented. So we had more than five affiliated offers the first day after that showcase. Eventually agreed to a deal with the Angels. And he is diving right in. Grew up a huge fan of you, Darvish. True student of pitching. The art in the new wave of knowing how to pitch. 3-1. Foul by O or full. Things like extension. Things like obviously spin rate. Things like dressing a pitch and designing pitches. It's very familiar with all those things. Now it's a matter of just putting it all together with experience. Soft liner. Right to the second baseman, Roy Jin Jun. One down. Shout out to Eugene Koo, part of the Team Korea delegation, for learning us a few things about Korean baseball, Korean language. So, you see L E E in the States for saying Lee, right? Seems easy enough. It's not spelled. Well, in Korea, it's E. E. How about K I M? We learned that very quickly. Not Kim with a hard K. It's more like a GH or to soften the K. Kim. 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 Yeah, Eugene, quite helpful. In no, he's allowing us to uh, have conversations with the staff and players. Ground ball underneath the glove of Jean Carter into center field. Jung Yi has a one out base hit. Good leverage. You know, a lot of times I see some of these hitters with their foot in the bucket. But you see where the hands are and also where the back foot is. Back foot is close to the plate. You're going to have coverage regardless of where your front foot lands.
the number nine spot in the order for Korea. Do you enjoy? Left fielder plays for SSG Landers in KBO. 25 year old takes ball two. Starting in the left field here today for the Korean national team. Mostly play center, but there's that guy, Jung Hoo Lee, who's <laughs> he's, Just, he's firmly entrenched yeah, there. Don't, don't come near there. There's a uh, Willie Mays once told my father, Matty, you're a young outfielder in the spring training. You could take fly balls to my right, <laughs> to my left, but never shag in center field. You gotta let him uh, know. <laughs> gotta let him know. This, uh, yes, sir, Mr. Mays. Four pitch walk, first and second now for Korea. For June Choi. It was G. Man Choi's replacement on the roster after Pirates had a little medical objection to allowing the new first baseman to play. He would have injected something into this ball club, I believe. G. Man is just infectious. 45 pitches. Only 21 strikes. 31 came in the first inning. Top of the order with the speedy Heyman Park. Strike one. And Park pulled back the bunt attempt. To left field, down in front of Ko Young Kang. Stop sign is up for Yi. Bases loaded, still just one out in the top of the second. Well, Team Korea is not minding the velocity. The velocity is much better reached with a barrel when you know that you force him into counts that are favorable for you as a hitter. Song Kim. We'll have to wait a little bit. Dean Trainer signals he is making a change. He's not he's not ready to come out. Wanted to stay in. Dean Trainer said nope, take the ball. Base is loaded here in the second. Sheng Chao Shun. The right hander relieves Alan Zhang Carter. Just didn't have it today. It is unfortunate because I think we all know the talent that he has. Yes. And I think we also see that um, he, he is he is a perfectionist and uh, trying to be on the mound. Um, that fluidity that I talked about being linear towards the plate, we just didn't see it today. And for sure, there's some lessons to be learned, especially coming from that man right there, and Dean Trainer. Carter didn't want to give up the ball initially. That's just his personality. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Never lose that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Bases loaded, one out. 2 2 tie. It could be broken by Hesong Kim. He struck out facing Carter in the first inning. Kim plays for the Kiwoom Heroes. He's at a 5'11", 176. Six-year veteran now in the KBO. Contact hitter. I have a ton of power. <laughs> Try 
tried to show a lot of power. Didn't make contact there. One and two. They've made some good contact. We're on some scoring position so far. Three for six. High in the air to right field. Leung Pei. Here. Ten feet inside the line. Sack fly will snap the 2 2 tie. Oh, plenty of offense here early in this ballgame from both ball clubs. And for Team Korea, a team that we knew they needed to come in and just put the pressure on immediately. It's important to get off to a good start. So Choi tagged up went from second to third. Park still on first at the corners with two down. And the batter who opened the scoring today with an RBI base hit, Star Jung Hoo Lee. of the accolades on his resume not just with the bat he's got five straight Golden Glove awards there in center field First pitch strike he's got very unique routines as we see and have witnessed here behind home plate in that batting net soft toss with a regular baseball and Soft toss with weighted baseballs that he actually carries around. Pick that up. Mm. Drive line. It's time with drive line. Yep. That's high. One and one. He's already hired Scott Boris to represent him for. His future Major League Baseball contract will be posted by the Cuban Heroes after this season. The team announced that in January. Plenty of eyes on this young man for a reason. Bounces away from Juan Chen Chen. Coming in to score is Choi, and it's 4 2 Korea. Also advancing on the play is Park. He's now in scoring position. It has been a rough night for Luan Chen Chen. And, you know, Ning Lee is the guy that actually is the one we're talking about and what he does behind the plate. The thing young catcher. Two wild pitches, one pass ball. And we're not yet done with the second. Jung Hoo Lee trying to follow in the footsteps of the man he's batting in front of in his career lineup. That's Ha Sung Kim. <laughs> Jung Hoo Lee was already heading to first base before yeah. the pitch was thrown. It's like the speed pitch came, quick pitch, and then he's like, I'm not ready. Wait a minute, but I can't do anything about it. Okay. Free pitch. Already disengaged. <laughs> like, nope, this isn't happening. Another one that skips away. So Park now on third. They have come in every way possible. As runners advance again. 
And the long night continues here for Luan Chen Shen. Second pass ball. First and third for Kim. Just two for 13 in the World Baseball Classic. Both hits came in the last game. Both of them were home runs. The 2 0 popped up. In the glove of Young Jin, the third out of the second inning. Three at two in the first, two in the second. Back up by two. The quarterfinals at the World Baseball Classic in the Tokyo Dome. The top two in Pool A against the top two in Pool B. Australia finished second in Pool B. Faced the winners of Pool A, Cuba. La Pantera, Luis Robert Yohan Moncada against Alex Hall in Australia. Then Samurai Japan, after going unbeaten in pool play, they will welcome Italy. Nicky Lopez hitting 500 for the Italians. How about that? Eight for 16. Nicky Lopez, Mike Piazza, and company. Mm. Against a guy that just didn't do anything with a batter with the arm and Shohei Otani. <laughs> nah. <laughs> not, not a little bouncer. Nice play by Kim at third. Uh oh. Uh oh. Luo Jin Jun hobbled, running out that ground ball. Also, all the way. And just about two thirds of the way, he feels something. Apparently, in the right leg. It's team captain limping off. Saw a motion there. He's grabbing that right hamstring. Be a tough way to finish it, considering that uh, his team is in it, and they can make a big difference here against Korea tonight. Won Chen Chen hasn't been the greatest night between he and his pitchers. By the way, the second pass ball has changed to a wild pitch. So now three wild pitches, just one pass ball. To Kim at third. Quickly two down. Well, it comes down to finding the baseball. Anywhere in the infield. That's the guy you want near the baseball. Tommy Edmund is the guy you want near the baseball. Edmund beginning this game on the bench. And Kim who's been the shortstop the first three games now at third. Young Pei, the right fielder, and leadoff batter, started the game with a single, came around to score. And Kim at third base all throughout the pregame practice, man, he had his game face on. This was no exhibition. This was about pride and passion and the flag in Korean baseball. Again, the top two spots already decided. We told you that the time or two. Japan and Australia moving on. So now, how does the rest of the pool sort out? There's strike two from Young Pei. So again, if you finish at the bottom of the pool, that means you will have to go into qualifiers before the 2026 World Baseball Classic. And as the Czech Republic found out last summer, that is a grind. Mm. Ball two. And Jun So with his 2 2 pitch fouled away.
Another 2 2. Another ground ball, this time to second. Hesung Kim. 1 2 3. China sent down in order in the second. Korea still up by two. At the 2023 World Baseball Classic, the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. Korea and China, the last game of pool action. Oh, big swing from Heiko Kang to open up the top of the third inning. Li Ning will enter now at second base. So Luo Jin Jun, the captain we saw pull up, hustling out a ground ball in the last half inning. His World Baseball Classic. Comes to an end. Strike two. And Kang hitting 500. After the RBI base hit in the first inning, it made it 2 0. China surprised Korea in the bottom half of the first inning by scoring two to tie the game. And Korea swung right back. Kang fights one to left field. It will drop in front of Ko Young Kung. Let's just say that <laughs> he has the ability to find some holes, fight pitches, but he never stays away from his strength, which is going the other way. Once a ball takes that kind of hop, it starts slicing away from you, you can go ahead and take a chance and go to second base. But he decides, ah, I was watching the ball way too much. Good decision. Good decision after he, the bad he, one. he realized that yeah, he should have been running a little bit harder. <laughs> and those, those moments just seem to follow Bei Ho Kang. He should be standing at second base with a double. So. If anybody has not been following Korea's trip through this World Baseball Classic in the opener against Australia, Kang lined a double to left center field with Korea down one. So he got to second base. He celebrated his hit with the dugout, but he stepped off the bag despite Hyun Soo Kim, the captain, yelling from the dugout, stay on the bag, stay on the bag. Robbie got him. And Robbie Glenn Denning, who was terrific for Australia in the first four games, was right there on the spot to tag him out. And so, Kang heard it from everybody back home. The criticism was there for him during the Olympics in 2020 when they were losing to Japan in the semifinals. He looked aloof, he was chewing bubble gum. Channel Park was crushing him on the broadcast. If, not, Chan, if, if Chan Ho speaks up, people will listen. Uh, and they did. And so <laughs> that's something that has followed. And he's just 23. But he said after that, I promise I will never do anything like that again at this competition. I was in the bronze medal game, rather, not the semifinal against Japan. And so when it happened here in the World Baseball Classic, it was like, are you kidding? Line drive base hit to center. Back to back knocks for Korea to start the third. There it is again. Where's that front foot going? Where's the back foot located? But there's leverage in play coverage. Traffic on the bases uh, has not been missing for Korea. That they needed that in this ball game. Their main goal, primary goal, is to just quickly score a lot of runs and put away China with no questions about what happens in 2026. Bump drop. Jiwon Oh, and he beats it out. The hustle.
Hong Shu Li ought to be very happy and proud about what he's seeing right now. I mean, they're playing with a spark right now that we had not seen throughout this tournament. Big ovation in Korea's dugout. Ji Young Lee, now the catcher. Bases loaded, nobody out. Ball one. Yeah, bases loaded, nobody out. Infield in, and I believe there's been a balk. Wow, first one called. And pool B. Dean Trainer immediately wants to know exactly what happened. What was the move considered illegal? And Adam Hamry at first base is the one involved with this call here. Comes set. It comes out. Now, is that part of his delivery from the stretch? The direction of that foot is the issue. Is it a double stop? Team trainer disagreeing with Adam Hamry. <laughs> okay, don't have to be an expert lip reader there. They're reading what Dean was saying to Hamry. We're going to try to go back and see what he was doing in previous moves from the stretch. But <laughs> uh, Dean, <laughs> Dean is making this quite the show. <laughs> So now they're going to talk with Xing Chao Shun. Here's a pitch prior to this. His foot is out. He delivers, gets a base hit, and here's the Baca call. That was more exaggerated in leaning in that direction. All right, so Kang scores, make it 5 2. Direction towards home plate or direction in breaking a plane and an angle to first base? Pick one. You can't have them both. Kunwu Park on third base. G1 O at second. And to explain that to Sheng Chao Shun. That's lined into left field. Another run will score. It's a four run lead for Korea here in the third. They are savoring this to the max, including the well known <laughs> bat flip in the KBO. Knows a thing or two about that is Young Ho Lee's father. Young Bum, oh yeah. Oh yes. Dean Trainer making another pitching change here in the top of the third inning. After four unanswered for Team Korea. So Dean Trainer going to his bullpen. But drop. Beautifully done. 7 2 Korea. As Ji Hoon Joy at the bottom of the order uses his speed. I am telling you, we are watching a dimension, a spark, and a drive that has not been there all tournament. This is a big part of their game. The safety squeeze had a, a base hit. Left-hander falling up to the third base side of the rubber. Perfectly placed.
Bring in small ball and forget about the long ball because eventually it will happen. Shang Wang, the left hander, is 19 years old. Oh, no. And hit Heyman Park right on the hands and fingers. And apparently there is an attempt. There's an attempt, so it'll be a strike. Painful strike. Hong Cho Lee will ask for an explanation. Hey, KBO season's about to start. And Heyman Park, he's, according to many, the best defensive center fielder in the entire KBO. He's playing at first base tonight. He's been there in exhibitions. Where's the bad angle? He was actually taking it out of the zone. And trying to get protection from the pitch. Shaking out the right hand. Here it is again. He starts pulling it back as the pitch is no, about no, to no, just no, no, no. ambush him. No, don't like that. Because of what you said, I'll say that there was a call from Stu Sherwater behind the plate. That there was a pass made at that. And he confirmed it with Kuti Suarez, who says, yes, I saw the attempt. So now 0-1. Bunt to third. He's got speed to burn. He's safe. Everyone's safe. And the bases are loaded again. That takes a lot of guts. And after you see a pitch like that, it gets you in the hand. Yeah, I mean, chances are you're going to see something good to hit. Thus, Bont, and they have gone back to their game. And with that type of speed, as Steven is talking about, absolutely. He can go out there and show it, as he does. He shows it early. Third baseman's playing even with a bag and a step in and still cannot get him out. Steven, where was this game before? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of fans back in Korea are wondering the same thing. And Korea already knocked out of the quarterfinal round, playing for pride and to avoid relegation against China. Opened up the 7 2 lead here in the top of the third inning. Three of the last five three in batters have bunted. You want to get a defense quickly out of whack, especially a young defense, do exactly that and get him moving. But I'll go back and say it. It's great to have that part of the game inserted tonight, but at some point, you're looking for somebody to pop one out of the ballpark and really open things up. Ball four walks in the eighth run for Korea. I was definitely convinced as we're having this conversation of air, Stephen, today. There's going to be a team showing up very upset and not wanting to be embarrassed. Yep. Or a team that pretty much just says, well, it is what it is. Let's just go out there and play. But I really did not lean too much into my second thought, saying there's just too much on the line and there's been so much pressure 
on the whole country, on this whole team, on this whole group, to have a good showing here tonight. Yeah, they saw the result in Australia. And they knew. So you're right. Fork in the road. Either play mad, play for pride, or pack it in, hit the eject button. And you just. I would have been stunned if the latter would have happened. And it didn't. Jung Hoo Lee. Bases loaded, nobody out. RBI single in the first. Walk in the second. He clobbers a baseball to right center field. This one will bounce off the warning track. Jung Hoo Lee drives in some more. The third inning party continues for Korea. And the boppers have showed up. What a job from the fifth batter on in getting the singles, getting on base, and just the sweet spot kind of swing. Just everything is perfect. Opened up against the lefty a little bit more with that front foot and puts a charge on it. Ninth batter of the inning for Korea, Ha Sung Kim. Look at that swing again. Everything is just so perfect, so quiet. Chin right to that front shoulder and pop. With many eyes on him here all throughout this pool. Mm. Yeah. A decision coming from the China dugout to put Kim on first base with that bag open. The next batter designated hitter, Khan Pekul. So they've batted around now. Beko Khan let off this inning with a base hit. Damage can be done here. Reminder early termination rules 15 runs after five, 10 runs after seven. It's an eight run game in the third. Face is loaded, nobody out. I expect something to be hit very hard here. Strike two. Korean lineup eight for 12 with runners in scoring position. So the 19 year old lefty on the mound for China. Wang Chang. Have to grind through this. Tied him up just enough at 83 miles an hour. Mm. You notice, I mean, I, I see this kid as a hitter, somebody that makes adjustments in loading up according to what he sees coming from the arm somebody throwing fast you see the load up real quick somebody throw not too hard you'll load up just a little bit later but always on time oh two pitch grounded to second leaning there's one and two the 11th run does score for Korea but Wang Shang executed Give it to him. Ball not hit hard, so I was totally wrong on that one. And for the defense to be on their toes and make this kind of play this close, I tip my hat. Because they have been on the field for a long time throughout the tournament. Wu 
Wupak. One for two. Base hit, which was here in the third inning. Eventually scored. And they're going to pinch run. Jung-Hoo Lee we'll comes out of the game. And for a veteran of Young Ho Park, hopefully everything's good to Young Ho. Health-wise. Pinch runner for Korea, number 52, Park Pilbo. So Byung Ho Park will come in as a pinch runner for Jung-Hoo Lee. Slice foul. Another one in the same area. Two turned on to left field off the bottom of the wall. A long single for Kun Wu Park. Hit hard, hit deep, and carried the same type of damage. Now up by 10 runs here in the third inning. Played coverage, look up, back foot. That was some good exit velocity out there. Ji Huan O. He bunted for a base hit and scored. Korea has scored eight here in the third inning. Just turned 33 yesterday, grounds out to the pitcher. He was the 12th batter of the third inning for Korea, of overpowering China and leading by 10. That is the son of the wind, the great Jung Bom Lee. Was an MVP in KBO on the all-tournament team of the 2006 World Baseball Classic when he was 10 for 25, six doubles, three driven in in seven games. And the KBO just celebrated 40 years of existence. And the first pitch at the bottom of the third. A ground out for Young Jin. Song Yup Lee, all-time KBO homer leader, 467. Current manager of the Tucson Bears and the KBO. The number of players, I mean, remember 2006, the Lion King.
took the World Baseball Classic by storm, two-time Olympian in 2000 and 2008, gold medal in 2008. It's just a rich history of baseball. And that country's been around for a long time. Heyman Park started the game at first, shifts to center now that Jung Hoo Lee has left the game. In the park, he'll play first base. A bouncer. Two down. A little bit of length on the mound will be a nice thing. The next batter, third baseman, Chen Chen. For the manager, obviously for their bullpen. And for so, let's go out there and keep building, weeding these young hitters, but don't let them get too comfortable, even with a 10 run lead. First pitch grounded by Chen Chen. Hung Jun So works quickly through the bottom of the third inning. Here is lineup coming right back after this. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of World Baseball Classic Inc. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. This is the last game in Pool B at the 2023 World Baseball Classic. Korea and China. Korea. Up by 10 at the beginning of the fourth inning. 12 batters to the dish in the third when they scored eight. Liner to left. Drops in front of Ko Young Kang. So a leadoff base hit for Ji Young Lee. Well, those bat flips continue. Now they're really in their form. <laughs> Lee gets into the act and the pounding continues. Let's take another look. A uh, little artistic bat flip right there. And Stephen, you say last game of this pool play, but uh, what an exciting first game we had here. Oh, the Aussies, Australia, and the Czech Republic. That was a tightly contested, good, well played baseball game. And Australia pulled away in the seventh, eighth, and ninth innings to secure the win and advance to the quarterfinals for the first time ever at the World Baseball Classic. They will face Cuba. Again, our congratulations to David Nelson and all the Aussies. And we have really enjoyed watching the fighting spirit. Never given up. Home run ball, high batting average, outstanding defense. Most home runs in the tournament have been hit by Australia so far, anyway. The GOAT. The GOAT starts the game off on the defensive side, setting the tone with an outstanding play. And I'm talking about Tim Kennelly. Base hit in the right field. Do you enjoy? So Lee and Choi in the 8 9 spots. They've been aboard every single time up so far tonight. So that's on Wednesday, the first quarterfinal here in the Tokyo Dome, Cuba and Australia. And then on Thursday, Japan and Italy. So you have Japanese unicorn and Shohei Otani. And the Italian nightmare, Vinny Pasquantino. Pasquantino, that whole group of uh, pesky players led by their Hall of Fame manager, Mike Piazza. Old friend David Fletcher on that team and his brother. Oh, nice. Pitching change for China here in the top of the four. Dean Trainer will bring in Sun Hai Long. First and second, nobody out for Team Korea in the fourth. He's 19 years old, just turned 19, in fact, on March 4th. With the Shanghai Golden Eagles, though, professional league in China has played the last few years because of the pandemic. There is a sense, uh, optimism building, that 
It may be returning soon. I believe it will. I think all of this is adding to the need for continuity and to keep these kids involved, getting the reps and get the next generation ready. His first pitch is a strike. And this young righty heard well in the Champions Cup in recent years, silver in 2020, gold in 2021, bronze in 2022. Amen Park takes ball one, count even. Ripped, but foul. Just foul. And High Long in his second appearance here at the World Baseball Classic. Pitched against Japan in the opener through 46 pitches. Two innings. Didn't give up a run. I mean, that's, that's saying something. Little flare, shallow right center, it will get down. Korea's loaded the bases. Again, with nobody out this time in the fourth inning. In case any of you thought we were watching on repeat. Keep the pressure on. Don't let up because you have a young team on the verge of just saying, we're just not enough for this. They have put every type of offensive pressure. You have had the pass balls. You have had the bunts. You've had the big boppers with extra bases. You've had the base running. Pass ball wild pitches. Box. Another check mark, Steve. Where else, Nelly, should I go? Yeah, Every, I mean, everything's been checked. Trying to finish on a strong note, Kong Cho Lee. Eamon Park's been aboard all four times. Hesung Kim struck out in the first, sack fly in the second, walked and scored in the third. Strike two, swinging. Ground ball right off Sun High Long. He got up quickly. Hopefully he's okay. Went off of his glove. Scored a run. Now an 11 run lead for Korea. Well, this most important thing that he's okay, but boy, even if you feel the stung getting hit off the leg, well, got the glove, fortunately, but he was hustling all the way and taking care of his responsibility to get the third base. The hustle over. Again, that's what Dean Trainer and the coaching staff have been trying to teach these young players and again Sun I long as he's just turned 19 they are young it's just a little thing he's got to do things right so I think perfect just give me that effort and show me your attention to detail and that'll take you some places you have the ability to do things right within the moment inside the moment when things actually are just spinning out of control like that example on whole park Batting in the three spot where Jung Hu Lee started the game. The word is that he might have tweaked something. Nothing serious, but given the way the game was going, KBO season about to start, just being cautious with the star center fielder. It's down in the dirt for ball two. Big chance for Young Ho Park. And a chance to really put this out of reach. Time power. 
thirty six year old in his first world baseball classic he wasn't on the roster in twenty seventeen he had wrist surgery young Ho Park big time power Jose Mota talked about but it hooks foul. She got a nice souvenir though. By a few feet. And into the right hands. Young Wolpock. 35 home runs last season. The KT Wiz. Tap foul. Now has 362 career home runs. It's good for fourth most ever. The one I saw him hit at Target Field of Minnesota off Joe Smith is still carrying the center field. Still going. Still going? Yeah. Target Field replaced the Metrodome. The building that inspired the Tokyo Dome. This place. The 2 2 pitch. <laughs> Another one hit well, but hit foul. Nice play. Good block. The one Chen Chen. Good block. It's it's been a long night, but the latest one, he's finally getting side to side movement. Velocity with Carter did not look ideal for him by home plate. The three-two pitch. Ball four with the bases loaded. Another one run will trot home. 14 to 2 now. Korea coming in here with a vengeance. Thinking about getting this one done quick. Uh oh. Ah Seung Kim. Nowhere to put him. He was intentionally walked in the third. First base was open. Fifteen runs after five innings. Those are the early termination rules. And then after seven, team goes up by ten. The game's over. Two balls, one strike. Gold Glove finalist last year for the San Diego Padres. Big part of their season. Fernando Tatis not being available. I wonder how the Tatis experiment is going in the outfield. So that's where he belongs now with Xander Bogarts taking over a shortstop and Kim moving over to second base. A very fine player in Jake Cronenworth moving over to first base now. And we know who commands third base. Newly signed, re signed Manny Machado. Kim. Pulls it foul. He started 125 games at Kim at short and another 17 at third base. 251 last year for the Friars. Eleven home runs. Scored 58 times. Two two pitches popped up. 
on the infield. Got to communicate. Leaning. Calls off Tao Jie. And there's the first out. Big one for Sun Hai Long. He asked it. He did. He communicated well. With plenty of time for his first baseman to not be shading him around that play. And I'm sure Ha Sung Kim will love to have that pitch again. Now big Pei Ho Kang. He said last time that you expect him to hit something hard. I missed by a lot. He hit off yes. the end of the bat. Double play. He's trying to prove you right. You know, that was the first <laughs> pull swing he's taken all tournament. All right, we've seen him go the other way. Yeah, that's the first sign of trying to pull the baseball. I mean, flying open. One and two. I mean, I understand why he's doing what he's doing. Why he's <laughs> taking those swings. Hey, throw it again, and as a hitter, expect it again. Strikes out swinging. Why change? Out two for Sun Hai Long. He really got out of his game right here. We had not seen pole swing from him <laughs> on any game before tonight. In fact, on any at bat before tonight. And this one. Kung Park. Two for three. Both hits came in the third inning. The second single drove in a run. That 82 mile an hour fastball looked like 92. And very firm. 12 seasons in KBO. Nighttime 327 hitter. Clobber to left field. That ball is gone. Grand slam, Kun Wu Park. An 18 spot for Korea. They have brought such a spark to tonight's ball game that's got many of us wondering where was this before and just the way they play the game and just the the engagement the intensity the pressure on the young team and they are not taking anybody for granted why not have one of your best hitters out there to unload finally and that was coming it was all coming and here's how fastball in. Bat flip and all. 18 to 2. <laughs> Filleted to left. Two out base hit. Or G1 O. Second consecutive inning, Korea has batted around. G1 e. Lee. He's three for three with three base hits.
fouled out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Golf to left. But the left fielder, Ko Young Kang, is there. After eight in the third, Korea hangs six in the fourth. In the final game of Pool B play, this was Chang's spot in the order. But he's being pinch hit for uh, Chen Chen. Team China. Chen Chen. So Chang now a veteran of four World Baseball Classics. I mean, played in 09, 13, 17, and now 2023. He's the hitting coach for Team China this year. But he is oh so much more Chinese baseball. That will be development center there in China. Chen Chen takes a strike. Now, Ray was born in Kansas City. His parents, Robert and Wendy, Chinese immigrants. And Wendy is here on this trip with him to this World Baseball Classic, along with his wonderful wife and their three-year-old daughter. Just cherishing this experience for everything it's worth. He thought he was done in 2017, but the chance to come back for another World Baseball Classic in Tokyo Dome, face Shohei Otani. Chen Chen strikes out swinging. That opportunity was one he couldn't pass up. And he's joking with us today, he's like, you'd have told me six years ago you're going to face a phenomenal pitcher and hitter, two-way player in Shohei Otani. In the World Baseball Classic six years from now, I would have thought you were crazy, but it happened. I, I just have to clap for somebody like that, a tip I had, and consider that what an asset Major League Baseball has on its hands. And his description to us was, yeah, you think you see a fastball at your chest and before you see and react. It's in the mitt. <laughs> He's like, wasn't that I wasn't that I took the pitch is that it was by me before I had a chance to react. Um, and Ray just a, a great ambassador for the game. Wherever he's been, you know, it, we, we talked about his his gut wrenching story about his Major League Baseball dream and how he broke his leg the night before he was set to be called up from AAA by the Minnesota Twins back in 2011. But that has not kept him from having an impact on this game. There's a high fly ball deep to center field. But Heyman Park is there. That's, that's where the big boys go, Steven. Glenn Denning and company, Shohei, that's their territory. <laughs> Nonetheless, a very nice swing right there. Yeah, South Jay, by South. Jay again, he's, the coaching staff has been really proud of him. So his growth through this tournament. Major League Baseball has condensed the schools in China to two locations and ages between 12 and 18. They have a schedule. They're located within schools, academic institutions, and the kids just uh, have a chance to play a lot of baseball. Long season, too. They were able to play for many months and train for two months before the season starts. And both those facilities in the Jiangsu province Far from Shanghai, 55 kids at Shangzhou, and another 50 at Wuxi, and yeah, they're just trying to want to help Chinese baseball players get to pro baseball, whichever way possible. If it's getting you know, scouts over seas to see them, which has been really tough to do, obviously the last few de few years. You know, but 17-year-old Zach Chen, he just signed with the Padres. Really excited about. You know his prospects in the United States, but if not from st straight from China to the pros, how about maybe creating a pipeline to colleges in the United States? Because you know, Ray saying, you know what, that gives them at the very least life experience. That's right? even and, better. That's even and, better, and, and a more promising future actually. Yeah. Think about how many of these kids will really make it to the big leagues. Even in the Dominican Republic, as many Dominicans as there are in the big leagues. You know how many don't make it to the big leagues? 
<laughs> and that's why Ray says when he has conversations with the players who went straight to the pros, it's like every day you're grinding, it's a job. He talks to the kids that are playing in college. It's great. They're having fun. They're around kids their own age, having a new experience, and playing baseball. It's fouled back in 2-2. I always go back to advice I was given as a player. And obviously, I have my dreams of playing wow, 10, 15 years in the big leagues. But at some point, somebody says, hey, you get that degree, and nobody can take it away from you. You can have a uniform on, and at some point, somebody will take the uniform away from you. But that paper, that piece of paper, never. A strikeout ends the fourth inning. Still 18-2. Early termination rules into play. Come back for the fifth. Han Zhao now in center field for China. Young Roji in left field. And the early termination rules. If the team is up by 15 after five innings, the game ends. Right now, Korea up 16. They've scored 18 runs in four innings two in the first then China tied the game in the bottom of the first two two okay then Korea two in the second eight in the third six in the fourth small ball just threw everything out of whack and got them back into their game with a great intensity and focus and drive Zhang Hao, 18 years old, born in July of 2004, now has the ball for Team China. And he issues a walk to begin the fifth. Well, for Korea, this was the way they wanted to end it. Unfortunately, the 0 2 start and Being upset by Australia and then routed by Japan. Just put them in too deep a hole to climb out of. Winning their next two games, finish two and two. You always want to end on a win, but for Korea, this, this tournament was so much bigger than winning a couple games. They needed to advance out of the first round, but instead, the third consecutive World Baseball Classic, for the first round exit. And for China, they will go winless in this pool B and be forced to qualify ahead of 2026 but it, it, it's you would not get that sense talking to Dean Trainer, Tarek Brock Ray Chang just how invaluable this experience will be for all the youngsters you know the, again who've had their playing time their growth their development stunted over the last few years because of the pandemic for them it, Tarek Brock told me this has been the most rewarding experience he can remember because another thing the language barrier he's having to find ways different ways to communicate as a coach and it's taken him back to the basics and he feels like it makes him better at his job and now he's talking with other members of the coaching staff and preparing them to shoulder the load by themselves the next time they're in international play you know he mentioned Tarek uh, such an important point as a big league instructor who takes care of outfielders and base runners with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He says, now I find myself, even to the big league guys, communicating at a better level, a more clearer level. And he says, somebody actually pointed it out to me recently in one of our Zoom meetings. Like, hey, you're way more expressive and you're showing emotion in your hands. And he goes, really? He goes, well, you know what? It's just a translation of what I'm doing here and how involved I have to be so guys really are on the same page with me as I teach. He goes, I don't want to scare anybody with these kids. I don't want them to play afraid. Fly ball to center field. The catch is made on the warning track. For the first out of the fifth inning.
The next batter, second baseman, Ken Hensel. On Chow, it didn't look like he got the best read in center, but he was able to recover, run it down. And plenty of ground to recover in in this ballpark when it's got that much elevation on that fly ball. Heyman Park retired for the first time today. Now, Hesong Kim. Ball bounces away. Luan Chen Chen a long way away. Choi will hold up at second base. A lot of bases. Extra additional bases have been taken today by the pass ball and the wild pitch, mainly the wild pitches. And to be clear, we're talking about the positives that Chinese baseball will hang on to from this World Baseball Classic, but I mean, make no mistake, they're competitors. Ray was telling us before, we didn't come here to just win a game or try and qualify. We, we want to win every single game, even though the the odds may be stacked against us. The, the talent disparity may be too great. That's just how we're wired. Four pitch walk. In Korea, now I'm just. Wondering how this team will be received when it goes back home. The KBO season is near. But there was a ton of attention. The entire country leaning on this national team to perform. In the World Baseball Classic. Another one that gets away. Both runners advance to second and third. And for Korea, with all the things that have gone wrong, well, in terms of runs to score, they're tied for most in a game. About to break that, too. Eighteen. Canada just scored that against Great Britain this year and then Japan against China in 2006. But, you know, that's... Something in the record books that you get the sense that Korean fans could not care less about. They're not in the quarterfinals. Two two foul back. On the three two ball four. And with the bases loaded and one out in the top of the fifth inning in an 18 to two game. Dean trainer. Will stroll out to the mound. All right, kid, he tells Zhang Hao. Suit so Sound Long, introduce you next. Suit so Sound Long, 
The left-hander, 41 years old. Come on back down. Get that veteran in here one more time. He like Chang just riding it for the last time. Pitched against Japan and Australia, and here in the final game, pool be at the World Baseball Classic against Korea. Ha Seung Kim. I think he's a little hungry after popping out last time. Base is loaded. One out. On ball one. Korea already has one grand slam tonight in the fourth inning. Kunwoo Park went to left field. A rocket foul. On the one one down and in two balls one strike and there will be a bottom of the fifth inning you have to get through five for the early termination rules to kick in 15 runs after five 10 after seven here's the two one pitch another foul ball and now two strikes. Fill things up. Kim took that pitch like <laughs> he knew what was coming. Like I've seen enough. I know you're going to throw that change up eventually, so here it is. I I'm going to take it. He will be ready to unload right here. Kim unleashes on the 3 2. Deep to left field. Gone! A second Grand Slam for Korea and a World Baseball Classic record. They've now scored 22 runs. The most ever in a single game. There are the 22 looking beautifully for Korea. It's a lift for them. Obviously, it doesn't fix much in terms of where they're going to end up. But boy, who does not want to finish on such a high note? And I just had a feeling after that frustrating previous at bat from him, the way he took pitches, something big was going to come down that pipe. Oh, you heard him. You heard him. There's a grunt involved. Going with a bouncing ball up the middle. Beyond the diving leaning. I, leaning, we, we, the first time we're seeing him at second base in this World Baseball Classic, we've seen him primarily behind the plate. I mean, that, uh, that kid's wired right, man. He's just an <laughs> all out hustle nonstop. He's a ball player. And today yeah. I, I was asking him today, hey, you should look for an opportunity if you can under your structure and your time and obviously limitations. About playing some winter ball, and uh, you know, at a level that challenges you a little bit more. He goes, Me? 
I'm too skinny. I go, no, 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 no. <laughs> you have the ability. <laughs> Forget about being skinny. Yeah. It's about ability, and I believe you have it. And he is 27 years old, but boy, a player is a player. It comes in all sizes and frames, but man, get a chance to play and keep developing. So after Kim's Grand Slam, you see the Korean hitter who gave us the first one of the game for the visitors. Home run with a grunt. And Lou Park takes ball one. That's a, I, that's I, a outstanding sound equipment, by the way. That's good technology. Picking up the grunt on a swing. Oh, yes. Great work by our crew as well, showing those images, those sounds, those angles from Lou Park. Punched out. The second out of the top of the fifth inning. Not a bun. Number seven, batting seven. Shoto, shortstop. Oh, Jiwon. Jiwon, oh. Two for four tonight. Pair of singles, scored a run. And for. And you know what? You'd think that every member of this Korean roster. Take the frustration, the disappointment from this World Baseball Classic and have it fuel them for the KBO season that's about to begin. Particularly young guys. I mean, Jung Woo Lee, very candid in talking about you know, how in an interview with the Korean media that the clubhouse vibes not good. Which kind of took the folks by surprise when he said that. Just tells you that he, he's not afraid to stand up for the truth. And perhaps if you don't address it, it means that you don't care about fixing it. And he wants that fixed. Which, from my seat, there's a ton of veterans in that dugout. So for the, the young superstar to say that, it's like to me, that's an indictment on the, on the older guys in the clubhouse. It is. It is. Remember, it's not one team that comes here from that league. It's, it's a representation of the league itself. Yeah. And that needs to be right. And guys take pride in having the right elements and pieces and personalities. So with all the lineup changes for Kang Cho Lee, remember he, he didn't. A lot of those veterans didn't start this game, right? Quote unquote backup players, younger players, they did start. I mean, look. Just to get the exact quote, this is from our good friend Ji Ho Yu of the Yonhap News. Quote was: "The vibe isn't that great. Ground ball right side. It's going to end the fifth." We have to keep on playing games, so we have to stay prepared. Well, they were prepared for this last game of pool play. They lead by 20. 22 to 2, Korea on top of China in the bottom of the fifth inning. Early termination rules state that if the team is in front by 15 runs after five, the game is over. Korea is leading by 20. So three more outs for China to try and extend this final game of Pool B. Kong Choli happy with this effort and performance. Too little too late, but World Baseball Classic record for most runs in a single game. And this is team, the way his team came out and it played. Is, it is. Yeah. It's that type of game they needed from the very first game. A lot of times, not 
you know, with just a, a group of star players and going out there and slugging people, but the way they played tonight. Makes you take notice. How do you build your team moving forward? It does. Just off the plate. Zhang Moku. Twenty six year old for the NC Dinos left hander set with his 2 2 pitch. Back foul by Li Ning. One of my favorite players in this pool. Mm. Such spot. No, no. Fire. <laughs> he's, he's on the all Moda team. Yeah. Ning with a base hit to center field. I'm telling you. Yeah. Gotta feel good for any one of these kids going back home to say, hey, what we experience, we're gonna build off of it. We're gonna pass it on to a new generation. But even when we talk about Ray Chang and passing the baton. This is still a team that can be built with what they have here. Mm. And, and keep in mind some of the players that are eligible to, to play for China. Uh, couldn't because of spring training timing, um, standing on MLB rosters, going to new teams, whether it be Connor Joe, Pittsburgh, yes. Connor Wong, Boston. The idea of Ray Chang, youngsters like Alan John Carter. You know, maybe next time around. Oh, Alan John Carter, he's got a future in him. And I really wish him the very best for the Angels organization. Two strikes on Luan Chen Chen. Lee Fan up there now for China. One ball, two strikes. To left field. Oh, what a catch running down toward the line. <laughs> Start asking yourself, what is he doing there? Uh, he was set up right off the line. Perfectly. Center field, left field, knew exactly where to be. Look where they're at. That, look where they start. I, I thought that was extra bases for sure, but the positioning of Choi. Who says scouting doesn't matter? Mm. Here it is. Young Pei. And let's talk about scouts, please. It's another one of mine where I go, those eyes that are watching the game, they give you the report of saying, I saw more than just a chart or velocity or video. Those are so valuable, Stephen. A set of eyes. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, the eyeballs here, the eyeballs watching on television in this tournament saw the Young Pei with the epic home run. Earlier in the tournament. One that he will never forget. Sixth inning against Japan. He takes strike one. China needs six runs here in the fifth inning to avoid early termination. 
down 20. Six gets him 14. And fewer than the 15 after five rule states. And Korea says, we know what we need to get out of this quick. Fly ball to center. It's going to be two away. Finishing our 10th game in five days with an incredible crew. Headed up by John Sulcer, who's producing. Christian Roberts, our director. Courtney Thompson, our technical director. Tim Fryer, our tape producer. Taj, the tech manager. Mika Ido, the production manager. Nico helping out. Craig Norquist, Taichi Ohara, our researcher statisticians. Yuko Kobayashi, Jordan Rabimbis, Yoichi Shimizu, Shuji Miyazaki, our EVS operators. Assembly Master Boney, Nate Daggett, Susan McCormick with graphics. Tetsu Sato on auto. audio. Kenji Furuya, Haruko Ishii, Shingo Imamura, Kunio Ibuchi, Yuki Akahana. Akahane. Hey, to all of them, and to you. I mean, and, and it's so been many, a blast. It, Thank you so much. What is that a good name? It's it's been a wonderful ride, and ain't done yet. Pool B, maybe coming to an end, but after an off day, we'll be back for the quarterfinals here in the Tokyo Dome. Australia, Cuba, on the 15th. Japan, Italy, on the 16th. Both games beginning beginning at 7 p.m. local time. Single elimination this time around in the World Baseball Classic. Strike three, swinging. And that will do it for Pool B. Korea with a dominant and historic performance in a 22-2 victory over China. Finish. With a big win. Learning is a process. And we have seen a lot of learning throughout this whole process in this pool for Team China. We congratulate them for a step, a giant step that has been taken. All this is going to serve them well. But for Korea, pride, passion, and that flag. They have a lot of challenges in front of them, Stephen. But nonetheless, what they brought today, they ought to be proud of. So the final standings in Pool B, Japan 4-0, the top spot. Australia three and one the second spot they move on to the quarters Australia has never done that before you see both teams on the field saluting the fans here in the Tokyo Dome a first round exit for Korea and a third consecutive World Baseball Classic they win their last two games China will have to go to qualifiers for 2026 and 10 games in five days we wouldn't trade this experience for anything. We got to see Shohei Otani in his return to his home country to play for Samurai Japan. For Jose Moda and our crew, I'm Steven Elson. We appreciate you riding with us.